finals. And Ross Sternstrom has more on the Knights of Elkhorn Mount Michael. Now, I've seen many, many times, this is part of the game now that don't break down here. We've been doing well all year with it. Kickoffs, kick return, punt, punt return, no mistakes. For the past 27 years, Jim Keller Kane has been coaching the Knights at Elkhorn Mount Michael. Kane has had his share of outstanding teams. In 1982, the Knights won the state championship. But this year's team is one nobody expected to be in the Class B Finals. Uh, to say it, uh, been a surprise being an understatement. You know, we, we've got some good football players, but there are a lot of young kids, you know. We didn't feel like maybe we're quite ready to accomplish the things they have, but uh, they came along, you know, and just produced during the year and just gotten better uh, every week. What makes this year's Mont Michael team so special is its youth. There are only five seniors on the 29-player roster, which shows how difficult a coaching job Kane had this season. If I had to list our guys from 1 to 11 of who's the best, I think I could put anybody up there and feel good about it. The Knights have grown up in a hurry in the playoffs with overtime victories against Boys Town and top-ranked Elkhorn. Kane has made his players believe in themselves. We instill confidence into us, and that's mostly important what we need. He is a pretty tough coach. He's very disciplined, and he gets us in good shape and ready for every game that we're going to play. The game between Mount Michael and Columbus Lakeview has been moved to Springfield Platteview to accommodate the large crowd expected for tomorrow night's Class B championship game. For Newswatch 7 Sports at 6, I'm Ross Jernstrom. Of course, we'll have highlights of that game.